ain't got no time There's too much that's on my mind Whole team on my back Told my family I'll be fine Hype's been hypnotizing Pray to God I don't go blind Lights are mesmerizing Don't get lost within the shine Better keep y'all your shades on Night before comp, boys just uh, at the gym, doing a bit of stretching, a bit of rolling. Some fruit for the morning after weigh in so we can refeed. Ready for this weigh in? Uh, Light as. Hey, Betsy! Ready for the weigh in? Food prep for uh, dinner tonight, for comp. Got a vegetarian strongman over there. World strong vegetarian. Andre's uh, got about four jumpers on because he's in Brisbane. Never been below uh, Man, I'm from 20, 25 degrees. Starts getting cold. Keep going! 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 Keep going!
just finished our first event, which was car deadlifts for reps. Uh, come first with 35 reps. Um, up next will be the Armo Graham truck pull. Ready to go? Yeah. Yeah, body's feeling good. So yeah, that's good. Just have another feed and then get get back into it. I uh, got down here uh, Thursday night, weighed in uh, yesterday in Brisbane. Um, 79.8 uh, body weight is currently back at 83.5, 84 kilos this morning. Woke up 4.30 this morning, had my first meal, um, which was just uh, yogurts, bananas and uh, a bit of cereal. Um, had a second meal at 5.30, which is um, pancakes, a um, bit of fruit, um, and then had another meal, mince and rice at 7.30 before the first event, so let's go champ. Let's go, Marsh. Let's go. 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 Let
<laughs> and first place, Queensland's strongest man under 80 kilos, Marshall Crutha. <laughs> <laughs> Just finished the uh, comp, Queensland Strongest. First win, Queensland Strongest, under 80 kilos uh, for 2019. So I went in there, put in the hard work of training, and, um, and it showed with the, the result I got at the end of the day. So pretty stoked. Um, with the outcome. One of the events, which was the fourth event, I came second and I dropped the frame, uh, which I wasn't expecting, so I was pretty gutted about that because I've, I've trained the competition weight lots of times without without any mistakes, so to do that on the day, yeah, it hit me pretty hard, but didn't affect my placing coming into the last event, so at the end of the day, I still got the win. Body's wrecked feel it going downhill so heading back to the hotel hit a spa maybe an ice bath and then head out and get some burgers and stuff with the other boys yeah Tampin oh, fucking what's that hey man what's that where's your ugly mug Betsy fuck I didn't even wax me mo ah shit you wax your nuts though, I bet you. Hey. <laughs> Boys and girls heading out for dinner after the big day. Celebrations. Celebrations. Always got sore hands. Because of looking. Sore you guys. <laughs> sore is. <laughs> Hold on. Are they using the handbrake on the truck? <laughs> oh. Cheers, Bungie. Cheers, bro. Well deserved uh, dinner after comp. Burgers and chips. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a good strong man. <laughs> Hold your pinky out, man. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> it's tasty, bro. Yeah, it's I don't know if you see much of this on social media, but waking up at after the day of a comp, you just feel like you've been hit by a road train. I'm just having breakfast, um, and then I'll probably have a spa, jump in a spa and chill out and try and let the muscles relax. Um, last night we went out and had a few drinks with the boys, so in the in the comp comp lead up, we hadn't drank any alcohol for for a few months there, just focus on training and, and not let um, alcohol get in the way of, of recovery. So, uh, well, it's definitely paid off, as you can see, uh, just from the result from this first event. This weather's really nice. I think it's like 6.30 in the morning. Get a view of the uh, sunny coast beach over there. Have some breakfast and then we'll uh, go hit the spa and try and heal this body back up. My traps and upper back all smoked. Um, all shot, so keep trying to have a spa and head down to the pool a couple of times a day. It should uh, release the muscles a bit. Um, I'll probably head, head across to the gym, across the road and roll out and do a bit of stretching and stuff. Yeah, you don't you don't see much about about um, the day after comps, but it has like a huge huge effect on the body. I don't know about anyone else, but when you have a big day from 6:30ish and didn't leave till just after four, so that's 10 hours um, 10 hours at comp. So it definitely has its toll on the body. Do your fatigue management for the day while, while competing, otherwise it, it'll wreck you even more. So yesterday I, I had a lot of water, a lot of uh, coconut water um, to keep hydrated and I just made chicken chicken stuffing and, and mayonnaise sandwiches 
just something nice and light that I enjoyed for the day. I think I nailed that on the head with my um, fatigue management side. I went to Bunnings and bought a kickback chair, so after each event, I could just chill out, sit back and lay down for a bit and just let the body rest and regain a bit of energy. I don't take any, any pre-workouts or anything um, in training, so I, I don't use them on, on the day. Um, I'm pretty, I'm an energetic person, so I just sort of use the crowd as my pump up. So as you'll see in my psych up videos, um, I like to get the crowd going and stuff when I lift and um, gives me uh, enough energy to, to carry on. Working, 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 I deserve it Back in 211, I was cutting verses Saw me as an artist, they just saw the person Now I blur the lines like I write in cursive See what I did there? I like the cursive See the youngins coming up, want a life like mine Last year, two jobs, so it rhymes all night If you're down to do the work like